Hello everyone, this is Sims and Wins. Welcome back to another part of the Sims 2 Build City Challenge. Um, so as you can tell, we are in the new ugly house that I built. Okay, listen, I am not a builder. I told you guys I'm not a builder. Okay, and Sims 2 is like really hard to build with. So I did what I could. Okay, I tried not to make it like a really boring house. I did what I could. I know the roof. Oh, well, I forgot that. Well, I don't have money to fix it. So I'll just leave it for now. But um, I did what I could with the house. Try and make it you know, bearable here, but it's better than what they had, okay? And there's room for a garden and all that. So it's pretty big. I didn't really mean to make it this big, but it's big. <laughs> so what I'm thinking is um, one of them's going to move out. So Robert is definitely going to move out and start his own household. But these two can totally stay in the house. Like they could totally bring in their significant other and stay in the house and... Um, there would be plenty of room for them, like one master bedroom, one master bedroom, and then two kids rooms. Like, it'll be fine, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, I just put in all the furniture from the old house because they don't have a whole lot of money to furnish. Um, hmm, I got a little notification here. All right. Um, they don't have a whole lot of money to furnish it very well right now, so that's that. I get everybody in the appropriate attire, so... Everybody's looking a little better. What we have decided is that he's going to be the law enforcement guy. He's going to start his own household. He has been learning pottery. Well, I've been trying to get him to learn pottery. So he can take over the family business. And he's going to do gardening too. I think that's what he has. Yeah, gardening. And she and her mother are going to open a tailor, like a shop. She's learning tailoring. And they're going to open, like, a shop together for clothes so that people can buy clothes. Okay? So that's what I'm thinking. He's, like, literally so close to the end. And, like, everything he has is, like, pointless. Because he's not going to do anything with this. But, you know, it might as well. And we're going to stock the fridge with a whole bunch of fruits and stuff so that we never have issues with food. Actually, we should have made, like, a lake. When they have money, I'll, I'll do the lake. I definitely need a lake or something to fish. Um, yeah, and they need to make a garden. But first, he needs to go to the restaurant. Not the restaurant. He needs to go to the um, shop to do that. Now, I think Jackson and his father should go to the shop. And the person who suggested the person who suggested that Jackson take over the family business was Michael Madlock. So I'm um, sorry if I said your last name wrong. Michael, thank you for your comment. Um, yeah, it makes sense Jackson should take over the family business because he's like ready to kick the bucket. So, yeah. Okay, so he has some stuff from his wife to sell so we can get those out. He's so talented. He's got a bot pottery badge. He's got the gar gardening. He's got fishing. He's got register, sales, stocking. Okay, this guy needs help. So take the opportunity. Help him. So nice. Father and son, you know, doing the family business. Very sweet. Oh, you can do the dazzle now. That's great. Oh, he bought the expensive thing. That's great. Okay, can we ask this guy to leave since he doesn't want to be helped? Deuces. Bye. It's okay. You'll learn the register eventually. Don't worry so much about it. Ah, there's Gretchen. Pregnant Gretchen. Ugh, why are you guys doing a water balloon fight? This is not the time for a water balloon fight. This is the time for selling. Sell. We need a bathroom in here too. We just need two more loyalty stars, though, and we can get, like, more money. We can get this this grant here, and that'll really help. A free sample. A free sample of what? Let's see. Ooh! We got the free TV. That's great. So now that we have 8,000 free dollars, simoleons, I mean, let's definitely build a bathroom in here. Actually, we need to, like, redo this whole place, but that's besides the point. Um... I actually want to get them a new lot because I feel like I don't like the way this lot was placed because of the um like now I know how to tour how to modify the terrain thanks to um one of the commenters thank you so much by the way for letting me know about that cheat but um I think it's too like late for this lot so I want to like move the lot and do it over I just want one more customer star that's literally all I need. Yes, we got it. We got it. Get all the money. 50,000 simoleons. 
Yes, we are going home, ladies and gentlemen. Deuces. We're going home. We can get two community lots now the way we wanted. The tailor and the... um. Okay, everyone go home. Okay, I know you peed on yourself. It's fine. It's fine because this community lot is getting sold. Wait, wait, wait. We should put things in our inventory first. Um, take this. Take... Can I not take this? Why not? Do I need to put it off sale first? Oh, that's why, because it's out of stock. That would be why. Get all these things. Give me my first simoleon. Give me my thing. Give me my register. Give me my this thing. Give me my that thing. Give me this. Give me this. All right, now we're good to go. Oh, this is so exciting. So exciting. Yes, we're going to build two community lots. Um, and it's going to be great. Uh, we're going to... I wonder... Hmm. No, it's going to be two separate community lots. I was going to combine them into like one shop, but no, it's not worth it. We're going to do two separate community lots. And it's going to be good. Um, so I may have overdone it a little bit. Um, so the lot cost is 35, so we need to be careful with the pottery shop, but, um, I, I'm okay with it. Like on the outside, it's pretty simple because I suck at building, but on the inside, it's okay. Like it looks like a, like a little Macy's or something. I don't know. Um, this is where they'll put the handmade clothes. This is where someone will tailor. Oh, wait, I forgot chair. Yeah. The little fridge, bathroom. It's pretty good. Hopefully people will like it. So yeah, we have a clothing shop. In the neighborhood this is good now let's get to the pottery shop um okay so this is the pottery shop it's small i know it, it's it's small <laughs> it's about as small as it was but we had to keep it at around ten thousand. so that's what we did what i did um i do have uh, the ability to make a bathroom and it's a little bigger than it was and they have the furniture for it in their inventory so i'm not going to furnish it uh, maybe the bathroom's a little big is the bathroom a little big to you yeah and let me fix that. Okay, great. So um, there's the pottery shop. Uh, we'll just add like a little thing in the front, you know, just to spice things up just a tad. Oh, these are pretty. I, I, I've never used them. All right, that's fine. Just need to fix up the terrain thing. What am I doing? Uh, fix up the terrain. Okay. It's fine. I mean, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, we're done. <laughs> so, um, these are the Sims I made. This is Anna and this is Billy. Um, they're not exactly the prettiest sims. The point is not to make pretty sims, it's to make unique sims. So, um, yeah, Billy's a little unfortunate looking, but Emma's, you know, I mean, besides the hook nose I gave her, it's fine. So I'm going to put them into the house that um, Gretchen was living in. Let me fix their relationships. They are spouses. Um, what's going to be their last name? Uh, we might as well, Billy Kramer, Anna Kramer, that makes sense. Kramer. Fine. Whatever. Very simple last name. So I'm just going to quickly set them up, um, furnish the house, give them a phone so that in case they meet anybody, um, people can call them. But I'm not done with the Richardson Sim Week, so it's not like they can... Um, I'm not going to play them right now, but I'm just going to furnish, okay? Um, since the house had like gotten worse... Uh, there's, ooh, these things stayed. Ooh, you guys are lucky. They kept the food. Okay, that's good. Um, so the, they ended up with more money left over. So we can make the house a little better for them. I wonder if I should make it a two-story house and improve it. I wonder if it's worth doing. You come in on this side. I could add a staircase right here, I think. Or I can have a staircase here. Hmm. Well, let me experiment with this. Um. Honestly, I can. I can deal with that. I can. I can accept that. Whether you guys accept it or not, I don't care. I can accept this. This is the the best of to my ability of. This is the best of my ability in building. Okay. Okay. So just I just wanted to add that for Anna Kramer. Um. I realized that she can go into business if he has a um. If his business is also level five, 
like rank five. I know that the um, Oakshead's business is rank five, but I don't remember. Oh, right, because we sold it. So he needs to re. If he can get his business to rank five, we can put Anna in a business career, and that way she'll be making some money somehow. So he's away. We will have Jill here. Um, we'll have her buy the real estate. Oh wait, how did they get eighty six? Oh, because they sold the business. That's why. So she's got a lot of money. Okay, so we're going to buy Boutique Emily. Yes. And then we're going to buy... Um, wait, Purchase Community Lots. Wait, no, wait. We're not going to buy the Pottery Shop because then she needs to be there, the owner of it or whatever. So that's not what we want to do. Oh, Anna's here. Great, Anna Kramer. And Billy Kramer is here. That's great. Okay, so let's just have them level up their, um, not level up, like, like, you know, get their relationship up a bit. I think Robert should actually be doing that because he's going to grow into an adult soon and they'll be in the same age range. They'll be having kids at the same time, you know? And also, um, if they all have kids at the same time, I think the Oaksteads kids will also be at a similar age range. So that would be good. Okay, so the boys are home. Um, Thomas... Thomas and Jackson are home. <laughs> uh, they're a little miserable, but they'll they'll figure it out. I think he's gonna grow up like any time now, like any day now. Oh, there was he grew up. Completely fast forwarded through it, and he grew up well. He's been promoted to detective. Logic needs to be sharp. That's very important. Cleaning comes between here. So it's department the ladder. What level is he at? Is this show no? But he's already made, making 756 per day. So that's good. He wants to get fit, though. And I don't think he's fit at all. What is he? No. So he wants to get fit. So that's one thing he wants to do. He wants to also have his very first kiss. That's more important. And he wants to move out. So who is he going to have his very first kiss with? He's not friends with anybody. So we have to find him a mate, number one. Let's have dad buy the other business first. Real estate purchase community lot. And then he definitely needs like a new outfit. So let's just have him plan outfit every day. Also, he's definitely going to take some of the family funds because like, I don't think you should start with like 20. I think you should start with a little more, hopefully. He's in law enforcement, so I can see him wearing something like this. That's fine. Okay, he looks fine. Okay, I'm totally ready to move him out. As soon as dad buys his community lot, well, he wants a relative to get engaged. That would be a very good want. Now he's going to buy the lot there. Yes. There we go. Very good. So 37,000 is left over. So we're going to give Robert like 10,000 to start with in the form of like some furniture he'll need. So let's get him this thing. Should we get him this one? Yeah, this one's fine. We'll get him a good fridge. Let's get him the best fridge. Let's get him... Uh, what else is he going to need? Let's get him a really good bed. To start off with, should we just get one of these? I don't know. I just don't want to get stuck into using the same items over and over again. You know, that's why I'm trying to like keep it varied a little bit. Honestly, this looks fine. It's fine. Um, what else are we gonna get him? Uh, what else could he possibly need? Because he's just gonna go into law enforcement, so it's not like he needs to do a whole lot. Um, and he's like practically. Let's get him a really good tub, I guess. Let's get him the top-notch uh, bathroom. So let's just get this all in his inventory. Oh, he's bought that from he bought that from the shop when he went there one time. Okay, so I think I think I'm ready to let him go. I'm ready to move him out. It's gonna. It's. I'm a little sad. Like he grew up so fast, so fast. Remember when we had him like a little squirt, a little squirty baby. An unfortunately looking baby, though. He was really ugly, but now he's okay looking. Now he's actually, you know, somebody who I can say is 
you know, strapping young lad. So why don't you go hug your mother? What is that? Okay. Hug your mother. Yes, you. Why, why, did you see how he was like, who, me? Yes, you. You don't like your mother? Jeez. Okay. Bye, son. Bye, son. You know, I enjoyed raising you, even though you drove me absolutely nuts. Do a gesture handshake with his father. Thanks, Dad, for all your help. I'm going off on my own. Um, I'm leaving. I am going to be an independent person. Thank you for everything. Enjoy your farm. Enjoy your other two children. Jeez, um, should I do this? Should 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 they? He's got to go, right? I just feel like I should give him more. Like, he should have more stuff. Like, Because they're all rich. They're pretty rich in, in here. Like, I should just give him a major piece of pottery or something. Like, I should give him one of these. And then he should just sell it. You know, when he gets there. That's what I think. Yes. So, yeah. Um, How do I do this now? He needs to go to his own place. How does he do this again? Does he have to wait for the newspaper? Find own place? Oh, we do have a newspaper. Find own place. Oh no, he's doing it. He's leaving. Okay, she was staying though. Bye. Bye, Robert. Bye. Bye, Robert. Bye. Sorry. <laughs> I got a little overexcited. I'm sorry. Well, okay. So the household just got minus one. Hello everyone. So here is mom and daughter. Um, they're here at their shop and they're going to work on, um, you know, improving it. We already had one day at work. I was playing off camera. So we got rank one. So now we just need to improve it even more. Also, I realized that you don't really need custom clothing because you have these things. So like even if somebody stops making custom clothing, it's still, you know, you could still make a profit because you still have these things, so it's fine. Oh, Emily got a bronze sales badge, so that's good. Oh no, what's he doing? Um, oh no, why? What happened? Why is he complaining? You didn't even do anything. You came and you told me a bad joke. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's so bad. Why did I get a bad review? He literally came into the business, he said a really bad joke, I don't know what happened, and all of a sudden, we have a bad review. This is, this is ridiculous. Well, what am I supposed to do about this now? Freaking annoying. Oh no, this might be why we got a bad review. <laughs> Spray these, please. Yeah, that's probably why we got a bad review. Cockroaches. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is so cute. Mom and daughter just look so confused. Oh, you may have noticed I, like, decorated the house a little bit. You know, I used their money up, and I just, you know, put in some decorations. It's fine. Oh, we need to fill her fat pet bowl. Um, okay, somebody's got to wake up and feed the dog. Jackson's kind of cute, right? Okay, so I figured out, like, that you can do, like, a check check on business every once in a while, but you can't. Why are you in your pajamas? But you can't run it fully from home, but that's fine. So let's see. Who can we hire? We don't need this guy. She might be useful, possibly. Silver Register does seem very useful, though. And she's pretty, and eventually someone can marry her. Mm-hmm. Like our son. Yeah. See? Like Jackson can marry Kaylin, right? Uh, so maybe we should forget the whole Tasha Go thing, and we'll just set up Kaylin to be for him. Mm-hmm. So, uh... Register, I mean, eventually, I don't know. She could do something with us, maybe. But I think this is who I'm going to go with. Let's be nice to her. Hi, Kaylin. Um, let's just put her on the uh, register, I guess. Oh, no. Why, Matthew? Why? Why are you being mean? Are you in a bad mood or something? Should I perk you up? Okay, the kids are coming home from school, so they'll do their homework, and then when the parents come home, they'll go out um, to their to the clothing store. 
just to, I know Jackson's supposed to be going with them, but with the father, but for now the timing doesn't work. So we have to um, do it this way. He'll just build up his skills until then. Okay, great. The parents are home so they can take care of their needs and then we'll send the kids to the store. So get up everybody. Actually, the three of them, all of them can go technically. Okay, let's have these kids on the sales floor. We'll have Thomas be the cashier and um, Jill will just be doing the restocking, I guess. So um, it's the weekend in the, the Richardson's household and I thought it would be nice to have them have a anniversary because, you know, he's going to kick the bucket. Uh, I think it's time for them to, you know, ha celebrate their anniversary. I think that would be really nice. So that's what they're going to do. Who else are we going to invite over? Who do we want to be friends with? She wants to be friends with this guy. So she can invite him over. So what do we do in a golden anniversary? I don't, I don't even know what we do. I've never even hosted one, I don't think. Um, okay, so this guy's here. Hello. It's almost his birthday, too. Jackson's going to grow up soon. You know who else we can invite? We can invite the um, other family. The new family. Where are they? Bill and Anna. Yes. Hello. Hello. Maybe Emily should make friends with Anna. I think because she'll grow up into an adult soon and... They'll be friends or something, right? Okay, let's talk to Billy. I think she's talking to Anna in the bathroom. That's fine. At least they're having a good time, it seems, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, they're all having so much fun. I, mean, I need to grab a screenshot of this, though, because these memories, oh, they just don't last, you know. It was a roof razor. Oh, great. Oh, it's snowing. Oh, it's winter time. Um, so I think the next time we play this house, maybe we'll, um, do like a Christmas gathering or something. That would be cute. The next, the next same week though. Um, let's have people eat. So I'm just spending the Sunday, um, skilling the family. It's a nice cozy day inside, you know, getting wants done and all that stuff. Um, she wants to level two. She's almost there. Um, she rolled a wand to get 10 best friends. So I'm trying to get her to be friend, best friends with this guy. On our side, we should technically be best friends with him, but on his side, he's probably not. He doesn't probably have the same amount of um, stuff. So anyway, so maybe we should invite someone over. I'd rather play Miyashino with a pack of llamas. Um, I guess somebody can build a snowman. This would be nice, right? Right. And look, I have some um, custom comment deer here. There's no college, and Jackson's going up in one day. One day, people. He's... Oh, we did it. We did it, right? You've mastered the art of living a happy and successful life. Every lifetime aspiration benefit is now available to you. So make sure to spend all of your points. Also, your aspiration and lifetime aspiration meters will remain platinum for the rest of your life. That is awesome. That is awesome. So that's fine. We got them all. He's a happy fellow. I'm super thrilled that it was like, I think, I don't think I've ever done that in Sims 2. I don't think I've ever successfully raised this all the way up. So I'm so happy that I could say after like 10 years after Sims 2 came out that like, I've done it. Okay. I'm so happy. That was great. Anyway, sorry, sorry, sorry. So now we just need to have Jill reach that point. All of my Sims are going to reach that point. All of them. Every single one of them. That's my goal. Every Sim's going to be a happy Sim. Oh, he built a snowman. It's an evil snowman. <laughs> Why did you build an evil snowman? What's the matter with you? I'm really trying to get him to get the gold talent badge, and I just can't seem to make it happen. Okay, so um, it's Monday morning, meaning that their Sim week is up. So we're going to end this part here. Um, so basically, what has happened so far? Let's see. She needs to have 10 best friends. We're working on this guy now. Um, we'll keep working on it. I didn't invite you to spend the night. I didn't even invite you to spend the night. What? Okay, anyway. Um, so she's working on that. He finally fulfilled his meter. So I just really want him to have the gold pottery badge and then I, I'll be okay if he dies. Um, so what is going on with the family tree here? Robert has moved out. He has his own household. Um, we have two new members of the neighborhood. So that is five here. 
plus three with the yolk sets with their new kid, and two, that's 10 sims times a multiplier of two is a population of 20 so far. So we're making some progress, but um, yeah, so we still have a lot of work to do. So um, I hope you enjoyed this part. We got a, a whole lot done. We got a lot done this time. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this part. Take care. Have a great day, night, whatever it is in your part of the world. Bye-bye.